Hey everybody, welcome back to Hacking the Headlines. So I saw this story a few days ago and I wasn't sure if I wanted to make a video on it or not, but then I looked a little deeper into it and I was just truly disgusted by what I found. It's really bad. So I knew I had to share it with you guys and help spread the word on this, even though you know a lot of other channels have covered it. But I'm talking about Celine Dion's gender neutral clothing line for children. And it's more like Satan's new clothing line for children, but you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So she recently did a commercial to promote this clothing line, and the commercial by itself is disturbing in a lot of different ways, but it's really just the tip of the iceberg. But the commercial starts out with her in a car on the way to a nursery where she's going to destroy the gender of these children. And she says, our children, they're not really our children. No, of course not. They're, they're the New World Order's children. They are citizens of the New World Order, right? And then she says, we are all just links in a never ending chain. And that is Babylonian mysticism wrapped up in a new package. But then she shows up to the nursery. And of course, the boys and girls are separated one side for the boys, one side for the girls. And then she blows this satanic black dust all over them. And suddenly they have no gender and they're all just little demon children. And in the cribs with them, they have these little demon dolls and everything's in black and white, of course, to represent the esoteric belief of as above so below that's why there's black and white tiles in every masonic lodge and of course that's why we see the black and white color coding in pretty much every music video that is released these days but that's not all then they show a close-up of the babies and they are now wearing little pentagram outfits with pentagrams all over them which the pentagram of course represents the transgender goat god the baphomet that these people worship it represents the goat's head of of the baphomet um, but then and the other kid next to him is wearing a t-shirt that says new order on it like new world order so it really couldn't get more obvious than that i mean this is how they are preparing people to accept these sick agendas and this is all about first of all depopulation you know reducing our numbers making it so that we cannot reproduce naturally so that we don't have a normal or strong family unit it's about making people into transgenders so they can have a bunch of little Baphomets running around our society. It's about getting people ready to worship the Baphomet, worship the Antichrist. It's about normalizing pedophilia, which will become more than obvious once I show you guys the Instagram pictures that this company promotes and has on its page. It's about blaspheming God and turning his creation upside down and making an abomination out of it. And this is how they do it. They use someone like Celine Dion and these other celebrities to push through these agendas and normalize it. But just to show you guys some examples of what I'm talking about here I mean of course we have the black and white symbolism everywhere you look on their website these are just a few pictures from the the website for this clothing line and pretty much every single kid is dressed in the black and white we have the black and white stripes and these kids look like they're in prison or something and then we have this really sick picture from like a Rothschild sex party you know we've seen those pictures before of like the eyes wide shut type of stuff going on with the weird masks on and the black and white clothing and then we have this girl on the black and white floor of course wearing a shirt with nothing but eyeballs all over it and of course they use the eyeballs on all their clothing I mean it's just one picture after another with these creepy eyeballs it's like who wants to wear clothes with just weird random eyeballs on it this is to represent the eye of Lucifer the all-seeing eye of Lucifer that's why it's on our dollar bill that's why it's everywhere we look in today's society but then, of course, we have a kid with the uh, eyeball pants on, with eyeballs on the kneecaps, and he's covering up the one eye, doing the all-seeing eye of Lucifer. And on the t-shirt, he has the skull and crossbones with the all-seeing eye on the skull, too. So really couldn't get more obvious than that. But then we have a little baby here dressed up in the pentagram outfit again with the devil horns on. Just really, really sick stuff really disturbing imagery here we have a little girl with antlers on top of her head of course to represent the horns of the baphomet or the horns of the goat god that they worship but then it gets really sick this is where it gets really sick is when you look at their instagram page i guess the clothing line is called celine new 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 world order clothing line whatever but here we have just one picture of all these kids uh wearing wearing the t-shirt of the new order with a giant pyramid, of course, in the background. 
Uh, and then we have a kid dressed up with a giant eyeball on, on the shirt. And of course, the Mickey Mouse ears, which a lot of people have exposed that and the sickness that goes on with the Disney and Mickey Mouse programming and the mind control behind that. Um, and then we have kids laying on a bed with a whole bunch of eyeballs all, all over their outfits. Just really sick stuff. But then it starts to get really bad. I mean, here we have what borders child pornography, in my opinion. Uh, these pictures, I don't even like to show them, but I feel like it's really important to tell people what's going on here and show them what's going on so we can spread the word. I mean, if this doesn't wake people up, I don't know what will. Here we have a girl with a giant handprint, like an adult handprint on her chest, like an adult was touching her, and it's a totally inappropriate pose for this uh, little girl to be doing but that's just the start i mean it's picture after picture of these little girls these little children dressed very pr provocatively dressed very sexually totally sexualizing these children making pedophilia normal and this is how they're gonna do it you know they use these false idols like celine dion and little bit by little bit they make it okay to show children in these type of poses and pictures it is disgusting i mean i cannot believe this is allowed on the internet i feel like i'm committing a crime by showing these pictures it's really really sick so it just goes on and on i mean you guys can see for yourself how inappropriate this is no child should be shown in these type of poses in these type of uh clothing and you know being dressed like an adult being sexualized like this it's just so disgusting it's like pizza gate all over again but if all that wasn't bad enough then we have this picture with two little girls standing beneath a sign that says let's get physical how is this okay how is this appropriate how is this allowed on the internet i mean you cannot tell me that they are not trying to normalize pedophilia with this it is so blatant and in your face there's no denying it uh, but then we have their latest so-called holiday line and it's just a shirt that says ho on it made for children with a giant exclamation mark after it just ho not ho 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 but just Ho. And parents are actually going to put their children in these clothes. And then here we have the spiral symbolism, of course, the satanic spiral with the children lined up throughout the spiral. And the spiral is a very well documented symbol used by pedophiles. It means little boy lover. And the FBI themselves have confirmed this. So of course we have the spiral symbolism. And then we have this little girl doing the all seeing eye with one eye covered and holding her hands over her mouth to represent the sign of silence and the oath that these people take into secrecy. And here we have, I think it's Celine Dion doing the all seeing eye with some type of skeleton, some type of cow skeleton or something. Uh, and then we have the faceless person. This is to represent the MK Ultra mind control and the different personalities that they create through satanic ritual abuse. We've seen the symbolism before, uh, just not too long ago in uh, Ariana Grande music video. She had the same exact symbolism with being faceless and having her different masks to choose from to represent the different personalities they create through torturing these poor kids. And of course, we have the 33, their favorite number. There's 33 degree degrees in Freemasonry. Uh, it's a way to blaspheme Christ because Christ died when he was 33. There's There was also 33% of the angels who chose Lucifer over God, the fallen angels. So no surprise there with a the big 33 and the all-seeing eye all over the pants. Uh, and then here we have a kid on their Instagram page who is holding up a rainbow flag in support of the LGBTQ community. I mean, that's a totally sexual community. It's all about celebrating people's sexuality. So what in the heck is a kid doing on their holding up a flag in support of it? It's absolutely sick and abusive and it is normalizing pedophilia. And then here we have a really disturbing image of these two demon babies with horns coming out of their heads. I mean, you can't tell me this isn't satanic. It's more than obvious. And what does this have to do with a clothing line for children having these two demonic babies? Oh, but it just keeps going on. Here we have these guys standing in bath towels ha with uh, giant eyeballs for heads. Because, yeah, that's also going to help to promote a children's clothing line, having a bunch of guys for eyeballs with heads. 
just ridiculous. Then we have the black scrying mirror imagery. Of course, the black scrying mirror has long been used in witchcraft to summon demons. That's why our cell phones have black scrying mirrors, our computers, our TVs. It's all about witchcraft and summoning demons. But then we have this 3-6 on, on the close too, of course, to represent 666. And it's over and over again, these kids with 3-6 on their knees. But then in the Instagram page, it says, do the math for the little comment next to it. Do the math. And they are referring to when you add 1 through 36, when you add all those numbers together, it equals 666. So do the math. 3, 6 equals 666. Really clever there. Really clever. And then we have more Baphomet symbolism with a little girl wearing a uh, goat head with the horns and everything. Completely satanic, completely undeniable how evil this is. And once again, what does this have to do with a clothing line? Oh, that's right. It has nothing to do with a clothing line. It's all about promoting their sick satanic agenda that they're pushing down all of our throats and making it seem normal for little girls to be wearing goat heads and worshiping the Baphomet and becoming like the Baphomet and being transgender and all that stuff. But just like I was saying before, they are ushering it in through these false idols, through celebrities. That's how they do it. That's why they put so much importance on these people. That's why they build these people up so that people will follow them and follow what they do. Here's a section of the website just dedicated to look at all the celebrities who, who put their children in Baphomet clothing and these weird eyeballs all over everyone. And oh, look how Kourtney Kardashian and whoever are dressing their kids up in this weird satanic garb. So yeah, it's no problem. It's perfectly normal to be putting your kids in creepy outfits and having them over sexualized in pictures and all that. So this is how they do it. They use their false idols. They use these celebrities to push through these agendas and it works. Like, yeah, they might be having some pushback on it right now, but it's all about, you know, warming up the pot a little bit at a time. And soon enough, it's just going to be normal. And we're going to see this everywhere. And we're not going to be able to do a thing about it. And we're going to be called hateful for trying to call it out and trying to stop it. So that is the state of the world we are living in. This is Satan's new clothing line for children. You know, they can put Celine Dion's face on it all they want to. But really, Really, this is Satan and his fallen angels behind this. There's no doubt about it. And no matter how much they put Kim Kardashian or anyone else on it, it's still just disgusting, satanic, pedophilic garbage that is being forced on all of us. So welcome to the new order, everyone, where children are being dressed up in shirts that say ho on them and all these other disgusting things that I showed you. It's just really unbelievable. But that's why I wanted to make this video, like I said, to try and spread the word, to try and encourage you guys to spread this information, you know, share this video and do whatever you can to help wake people up out there. You know, showing them something like this might finally snap them out of it. You know, if you have a family member or friend who has been resistant to the information, maybe, just maybe, if you show them something like this, they will wake up out of their trance and realize what is going on here. But I thank you all for listening. I'll be making another video very soon, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel and don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. Until next time, guys, take care out there and God bless everybody.